Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Adam and on YouTube you know me as OG Walrus. It's great to be here, thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. Got a number of different things to talk to you guys about today and you might be wondering what exactly is that email address? Walrus, Beast and Feast, what do you got up your sleeve? We're gonna get to that a little bit later but right now let's get to the topic at hand. And that is MW3, sniper only game mode for public lobbies, you guys. I can't wait to see what kind of an experience I'm gonna have at the Call of Duty experience. And I wanted to thank you guys for 2,000 subscribers. I wouldn't be going if it wasn't for you myself and some guys from the Yao staff we're gonna go up there have a great time bring you guys an in-depth analysis and our opinions on uh, our experience while playing MW3's multiplayer for the first time so what exactly are you watching on this screen right now well let me tell you this is actually my first legitimate attempt sniping at black ops and being aggressive and trying to play the objective and domination it's and it's a mix of clips that are uh, basically all from one night where um, not, uh, I think it was like last night or the night before, um, basically I picked up the PSG1 and I, I said, you know what, I'm going to give this a go. The L96 is just not for me, you guys. I never have any luck with luck with that thing. And I'm not a sniper. I don't consider myself to be. Typically, I'll, I really enjoy playing with the assault rifles, the submachine guns, and the shotguns. Occasionally, I'll pick up the M60 and get in a ground war and see if, see if I can pick up a five-man spray. But what do you guys think? What do you think about a, uh, a sniper-only game mode for public lobbies? I, personally... I think it would be a great idea. And here's here's the reason why. In my opinion, there's not a lot of guys that are running around in objective-based games, playing the objective and doing well, winning games consistently um, with that sniper rifle. Uh, it's just very hard to match up with somebody that's being really aggressive, that has an assault rifle and that can uh, just hold the trigger down and spray you while you have, you have to basically be really, really good at siding up. At, uh, at quick scoping, at no scoping, at, at all that stuff and, and, and know what exactly you need to be doing when it comes to uh, being aggressive with that sniper rifle. I think a sniper's only game mode would really even the playing field for a lot of players and encourage them to try something new that they normally wouldn't really be into just because of the difficulty that's associated with it. You guys, I'm the type of individual, I don't like to limit myself to one classification of playstyle. I don't consider myself to be a rusher or somebody that uh, really enjoys having a high KD and, and plays very conservatively. Uh, I really like to play with a different, um, you know, with a different mind frame and I like to, uh, I enjoy using everything that the developers have given us to to use in these shooter games. Now, obviously there's some exceptions like Second Chance. I think that really needs to go. But I really would like to see what, um, what you guys think about uh, new game modes for MW3, specifically the snipers only. So I'm really excited to see what the developers have up their sleeve at Call of Duty XP when we get our hands on MW3's multiplayer for the first time. Should be a whole lot of fun. Now the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about quickly is Beast and Feast. What the heck is that? Well, let me explain it to you guys. It's an idea that's been in development by myself, Wack4863, Bright Links, and Nando from Part-Time Gamers, all Yaosh directors, part of the Yaosh Network, and uh, actually Nando came up with the title of the series. It's, this is going to be a lot of fun, you guys. At Yaosh, we're really all about creating a community-conscious, positive experience for our members, and we want to help you guys out the best that we can, grow your channel, and interact with you guys. Now before I go on, I've got to give a big shout out to Dysfunction, who just finished the the very first episode of the Yaush Member Spotlight. Great video, bro. I cannot wait to see what you have in store for us in the next one. If you guys haven't seen it, please go check it out. Link is in the description. So Beast and Feast combines two common interests that we all share as gamers and as people in general. And what we're trying to do, the idea behind this series is get a little bit more personal with you guys, show you some of the people, the, the directors that are behind the brand in real life. And what we're going to need from you guys, if you're interested in participating with this series and you want to grow your channel, get some more exposure by having your footage, your content, and your videos seen on the Yaosha Network, specifically Reloaded, then here's what you need to do. You need to uh, basically get some beast clips where you're going absolutely bananas. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be Black Ops. It can be any first person or third person shooter that you enjoy playing where you just go off. And here's what we're looking for, guys. Clips from 10 or 15 seconds all the way up to three or four minutes. So it can be a, you know, a short kill feed. It can be an amazing clutch play. It can be even be a short game. Or it can, be, it can even be a montage. If it's a montage and you want to use your music, you guys have to make sure that it's not copyrighted. Otherwise, we cannot use it at all. So here's how this process works. What you guys are going to want to do is upload your videos as an unlisted YouTube link. Then you're going to attach that link in an email and send it to beastandfeast at gmail.com. You need to be as specific as you possibly can with the, with the subject title of your video. If it's a kill feed, put amazing crisis to kill feed. If it's a, you know, a great, um, you know, quad 
feed from uh, Gears of War 3 or Call of Duty 4 or something like that, then put the title of the video game and what exactly it is we're going to be looking at. We will contact you, and this is the hardest part about this, you guys. Be patient. We will contact you if we choose to use your video, your footage on this series. And we don't want any commentary attached to the videos at all, you guys. We may contact you and say, hey, let's maybe do a dual com or something like that. But initially, no commentary whatsoever. And again, if you want to use music, it's got to be uncopyrighted for sure. Here's what's going to happen next. Once we select a video or a member's uh, contents, then we're going to feature it on Yaush Reloaded. And it, like I said, 10, 15 second clip or series of clips or a montage, three or four minute gameplay, something like that. We're going to talk about it, get you some exposure, send people to your channel. And then we're going to transition into uh, a Yaush director's hometown where they like to beast. And don't worry about that. I'm going to make up for that uh, tomahawk fail in just a second here. Where they like to feast after they beast. And it's going to be a whole lot of fun, you guys. This series is going to is going to have a lot of creativity that goes into it. It's going to be uh, extremely entertaining and um, um, synonyms for entertaining, guys. Help me out here. Uh, pleasing, pleasurable, interesting, funny, humorous, great, grand, good, golly, wonderful. That's what it's it's going to be. All those things. And I really can't wait to get started. I can't wait to see the content that you guys are going to bring to us. If you have questions, then please let me know, and uh, I'll do my best to get back to you. Uh, that's going to about do it for this video, you guys. I had a great time talking with you and, and, uh, and actually playing as a sniper for pretty much the first time in Black Ops. So I'm really looking forward to Call of Duty XP. Last thing that I want to tell you guys is please play the objective. Come on now, man. Have fun, guys. I'll talk to you later.